He is known for his prolific career as an Italian composer, pianist, conductor, and academic. He is recognized for his iconic film scores, notably for the films of Federico Fellini and Lucino Visconti. His name is Nino Rota. In the realm of film music, one name stands out as a true legend, Nino Rota. Born as Giovanni Rota Rinaldi, this Italian composer, pianist, conductor, and academic left an indelible mark on the world of music. His most notable achievements came in the form of his iconic film scores, particularly for the works of Federico Fellini and Lucino Visconti. Rota's compositions could transport audiences to different worlds, capturing the essence of each film's narrative with his emotive melodies. But Rota's talent extended far beyond the realm of cinema. Throughout his illustrious career, he showcased his extraordinary ability as a composer, producing over 150 scores for both Italian and international productions. This staggering number averages out to three scores each year over an impressive 46-year period. During his most prolific phase from the late 1940s to the mid-1950s, Rota wrote an astonishing 10 scores per year, and sometimes even more. In fact, in 1954 alone, he composed a remarkable 13 film scores, solidifying his reputation as a musical powerhouse. While Rota's film compositions garnered him global recognition, his repertoire extended to other musical forms as well. He composed ten operas, five ballets, and numerous orchestral, choral, and chamber works. Among his many creations, his string concerto remains one of his most renowned pieces. Additionally, Rhoda's talents were sought after in the world of theater, with directors such as Visconti, Zeffirelli, and Eduardo de Filippo seeking his musical expertise for their productions. Beyond his creative endeavors, Rhoda also dedicated himself to teaching. For almost 30 years, he served as the director of the Liceo Musicale in Bari, Italy, sharing his knowledge and passion for music with young aspiring musicians. His impact as an educator was as significant as his contributions as a composer, leaving a lasting legacy in the field. Nino Rota's biography is a testament to his immense talent and the profound impact he had on the world of music. His film scores continue to resonate with audiences, transporting them to the worlds created on the silver screen. His compositions, not limited to the realm of cinema, showcase his versatility and ability to evoke emotions through music. Rhoda's dedication to teaching further solidified his status as a musical icon, leaving a lasting impression on future generations of musicians. Nino Rhoda, a brilliant composer, made a name for himself in the film industry with his exceptional film scores. In 1949, he composed the score for the film, The Glass Mountain, featuring the remarkable singing of Tito Gobi. This film not only captivated audiences but also received numerous awards, showcasing Rhoda's talent and creativity. However, Rhoda's compositional style sometimes drew criticism for his penchant for incorporating past styles into his music. He would occasionally quote his own earlier works or even music from other composers. One notable example of this was his use of Dvorak's Serenade for Strings in E Major's Larghetto as a theme for a character in Fellini's La Strada. Rhoda's collaboration with acclaimed director Federico Fellini began in the 1940s and lasted for decades. They worked together on films such as Lo Psycho Bianco, I Vitaloni, and La Strada. Their partnership was so strong that at Fellini's funeral, Rhoda's composition Improviso dell'Angelo was played, highlighting the deep connection between the two artists. One of Rhoda's most praised works is his score for Fellini's Eight and a Half, which greatly contributed to the film's cohesiveness. His collaboration with Eugene Walter on the song Go Milk the Moon for Fellini's Juliet of the Spirits further showcased Rhoda's versatility. Additionally, Rhoda won an Oscar for his score for The Godfather Part II and received an Academy Award nomination for The Godfather. However, this nomination was later revoked when it was discovered that Rhoda had reused a theme from a previous score. Nonetheless, Rhoda's impact on the film industry remained significant, as he composed scores for over 150 films. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.